A warm welcome to you all, my dear students. In our previous class, under the chapter force and pressure, we have we saw there were two types of forces. So we shall recall the concepts which we have learned in the last class. So types of forces. We saw two types. One was yes, contact force. First type was contact force, and then we saw yes, non-contact force. Non-contact force. And the contact force. How many subdivisions are there? Yes, we have two types. One is Yes, muscular force, muscular force. What was the other type which we have learned under contact force? Yes, frictional force. So frictional force. And we also saw the subdivisions under non-contact force. So, in how many types the non-contact force are divided? Yes, non-contact forces are divided into three category. One is magnetic field, magnetic force. One is magnetic force. The another type is electrostatic force. So it is electrostatic force. And we have one more type that is yes. We have. Gravitational force. So we have two types of forces. One is contact force. The other one is non-contact force. Under contact force, we have two types. One is muscular force, and another one is frictional force. And under non-contact force, we have three categories. I mean, we have three types. That is magnetic force. Electrostatic force and gravitational force. In our previous class, we have learned about contact force. So, what is contact force? Yes, force exerted by the body with physical touch. There is a physical touch in this contact force. So, in contact force, we have seen two types. One is uh, muscular force. The other one is frictional force. So, what is muscular force? Yes, muscular force is a Contact force. So muscular force is a contact force in which there is the action of yes, in which there is the action of muscles. So we make use of muscles here. So muscular force is a contact force in which there is the action of muscles. Next we saw about frictional force. So what is frictional force? Yes, frictional force is also a contact force. So frictional force is a contact force. And this frictional force is nothing but the force, the force which opposes the motion. So frictional force is a force which opposes the motion of an object. And we saw some examples under muscular force and frictional force. So in today's class, we will be learning about non-contact forces, the types such as magnetic force, electrostatic force, and gravitational force. So we will be learning about three subdivisions under non-contact force, that is magnetic force. Electrostatic force and gravitational force. So first, we'll learn about magnetic force. So first, under non-contact force. Before going to the types of non-contact force, first we shall see what. 
called the contact force. The forces which are exerted by the body without any physical touch. So these non-contact forces are the forces in which there is a no physical contact between the objects. There will be no physical touch between our objects. So no physical touch or a contact between bodies. Imagine this pointed pole is south pole. Imagine it is a south pole and this pole is north pole. Now I will place one bar magnet and I will mark this point as A. I will mark this point as A. So here it is south. Imagine it is a south pole and it is north pole. So I will write north south. So it is north pole and south pole. And I have placed this bar magnet at point A. Similarly, I am taking uh, another bar magnet. So, here what I will do is, I will place a uh, north pole here and I will place south pole here. I am taking another magnet and I am placing it here and I will mark this point as point B. So, let this bar magnet uh, be at point A and this will be at point B and we shall mark the poles. So, here it is south, here it is north. So, it is south and north north. So I have kept two bar magnets. So uh, this is south and this is north. In bar magnet B this is this pole is north pole and this pole is south pole. So now what I will do? I will take this bar magnet which is at the point A and I will bring closer to the bar magnet which is at point B. Carefully observe children. What you just observed there? Yes, the bar magnet attract the other bar magnet. So there was a force of, yes, there was a force of attraction between these two bar magnets. So we shall uh, see once more. So I will bring this bar magnet from point A. So I will be moving this. So when I bring it to closer, so it just attract. So before attraction there was a gap in between. So carefully observe. So this is nothing but a non-contact force. So before force of attraction there was a gap between these two. Which means there was no physical touch. So it is a non-contact force. See here. So I am moving this from point A to point B. So it is attracted. So it has created a magnetic field without coming into contact. Without coming into contact it is creating a magnetic field since these two poles are unlike poles because it is north pole and this is south pole. Since these two are unlike poles it attracted each other. So by this we can say that the magnetic force is a non-contact force. So when I bring closer Without physical touch, it just attracted the other bar magnet. So it is a non-contact force. And since it is south and north, they are unlike. 
so these two points are unlike poles so they are unlike poles so unlike poles always attract each other so see here again i'll show you from point a i'll bring this bar magnet to point b now without coming into contact it will attract the bar magnet which is which was at point b so unlike poles see here north pole south pole so unlike poles attract each other and this magnetic force is nothing but a non contact force it is a non contact force okay children now i'll consider the same bar magnets but now i'll place the south pole this is south pole and this is north pole so i'll write south pole and this is north pole and i'm placing this bar magnet at point a now what i'll do is i'll place south pole so we shall mark this as b point b and now what i'll do is i'll place this bar magnet that is a south pole here and north pole at this point so i have kept two bar magnets and this bar magnet is at point a and this bar magnet is at point b and i have written the poles here it is south pole here it is north pole at point b and here in point a this is south pole and this is north pole so now what i'll do i'll move this bar magnet which is at point a to towards the bar magnet which is at point b so carefully observe children so i'm taking it closer so what you can observe yes it is going back which is yes it is a repulsive force yes see yes without coming into contact it is applying some force this bar magnet is exerting some force on the other bar magnet without coming into contact so you can see there is no physical touch between these two bar magnets there is some gap right so there is no physical touch between these two magnets so it is repulsive force so when we place so here it is south pole here also it is south pole so these can be considered as like poles so so it can be considered as like poles so when i brought this bar magnet from point a to point b so you saw that there was a repulsive force this force is nothing but repulsive force so like poles always repels so like poles always repels so south south so it is like pole and in magnets always the south pole repels see yes and there is no contact between these two bar magnets so magnetic field is a yeah magnetic force is a yes non contact force yes now we'll see with other object so what is this yes it is a horseshoe magnet because it is in the shape of horseshoe it is called as horseshoe magnet now i am taking the nail and i am placing on the paper now i am taking the nail and i am placing on the paper now what i'll do i'll bring this horseshoe magnet closer to the nail so just carefully observe yes so there was a yes there was a force of attraction between these two objects there was a force of attraction between these two objects so without coming into contact it attracted the nail so the magnet without coming into the contact with the nail so without any physical touch this horseshoe magnet attracted the nail so it is also an example for non contact force similarly we shall take safety pins so i am placing on the paper i'll bring this horseshoe magnet closer yes so without coming into contact it just attracted the pin so it is a non contact force because there was no physical touch between these two objects see there was a gap in between so it is an example for non contact force similarly we'll take a spanner and i'll bring this horseshoe magnet closer 
so what happened yes this is also a attractive force so before coming in so, so there was no contact between these two and there was a force of attraction so it is a example for non contact force okay children so we just saw experiment where we saw two properties of magnets so we should see that so we just saw the properties of magnets so when light poles were kept so we just saw that when light poles come closer they yes so light pole repel each other this is the first property of magnets so that is light pole repel each other so same goes with the north pole if i place a south pole here north pole here then again your north pole your south pole so these two are light poles because if your also is not here also it is not because it is a light pole so here also the light pole repel each other there was a repulsive force between these two magnets there was a repulsive force so there was a repulsive force between these two magnets when light poles were kept so south south light poles were also it is not pole it is also not so light poles repel each So this is the first property of magnets. Similarly, we saw that when we see unlike poles, let us consider it as north and this as south, and this as north and this as south. So they are unlike poles. Here it is south pole, here it is north pole. So they are unlike to each other. So what is the property here? Yes. So unlike poles attract each other. So unlike poles attract each other. We just saw in the experiment that unlike poles attract each other. So next property is unlike poles attract each other. So it is a non-contact. so we for two properties one is light pole repel each other the other property was unlike poles attract each other so in this case you can see attractive force whereas in this case you see a repulsive force so we just saw the properties of magnets and we have also seen the experiment regarding that so we came to know that magnetic field is a non contact force so we are done with the magnetic force So now we shall see what a electrostatic force. So children, now we shall see some examples for electrostatic force. So now examples will be displayed. So carefully answer children.
in the first example we saw that they took the pvc pipe and when pvc pipe was rubbed against the cloth so first they took the cloth and then they took a pvc pipe so when this pvc pipe is rubbed against the cloth this pvc pipe gets charged so any object when rubbed with the cloth or anything it gets charged so here the pvc pipe got charged so this is a charged one when any body is rubbed it rubbed it gets charged so here the pvc pipe is a charged one so the pvc pipe is charged one so when they bought this in contact with the bubble so when they bought this charged pvc pipe near the bubble there was a attractive force between this pvc pipe and bubble so bubble so this bubble is a uncharged body so this bubble is a uncharged body so when we bring this charged body that is a pvc pipe closer to this uncharged body that is a bubble it attract each other because it is a charged body and this bubble is a uncharged body so in this cases when the bodies are one body is charged the other body is uncharged they attract each other so when one body is charged the when the other body is uncharged they attract each other so there you saw there was a force of attraction between the pipe and the bubble so when there is a charged body coming into contact with the uncharged body there you see a attractive force so there is a a force of attraction so force of attraction so this can be considered as attractive electrostatic force this is a attractive electrostatic force so it is a
So here in this case, the two straws, yes, the two straws were charged because it was rubbed against each other. So they are charged bodies. So when the two bodies are charged and they are brought closer, there we can see a repulsive force. So when two charged bodies come closer, you can see a force of repulsion. So when two charged bodies when two charged bodies are brought closer we can observe what we can observe yes we can observe force of force of yes repulsion So when the two straws were rubbed, they got charged. So when two body, charged bodies come closer, we observe a force of repulsion. So there is a, a force of repulsion. This is nothing but repulsive. This is nothing but repulsive electrostatic force. Repulsive electrostatic force. Yes, we did bring the two straw in contact. They were apart. There was a gap between the two straws, right? So it is a non-contact force. There was, imagine this is the, these are the straws which were charged. So there was a no physical contact between them. We just brought it closer to the straw. One straw was brought closer to the straw. There was a no contact between these two straws. So it is a non-contact force because there is a no physical touch between the straws. So it is a non-contact force. So, electrostatic is a non-contact force. So, electrostatic force is a yes, non-contact force. So, in electrostatic force, we saw two types. One was Attractive electrostatic force, the other one was repulsive electrostatic force. These are examples of non contact forces. So, we just saw electrostatic force. So, we had a magnetic force and electrostatic force. Next is gravitational force. The next is gravitational force. The next, we shall see what are gravitational forces. Children, do you remember who discovered uh, gravitational force? Yes. Gravitational force was discovered by Isaac Newton. Yes. Do you know in which year it was discovered? Yes. It was discovered in 1687. So it was discovered in the year 1687. The force of gravity was discovered by? Yes. Isaac Newton. So Isaac Newton discovered the gravitational force. So I said Newton discovered the gravitational force in the year 1687. Uh, so now I'll take the pen. Now I'll leave this pen free. So what happens? Yes. It will reach the ground. So when any object is left freely it reaches the ground. Why is it so? Yes, we have a force of attraction and that force of attraction is called as? Yes, this is due to gravitational force. Yes. Similarly, you should consider one more example. See here, I am having a ball. Now I will throw this ball upwards. Now I am throwing this ball upwards. So, after travelling to some distance, it again comes back. So why is it? Yes, it is because of gravitation. So, we should consider one more example. We should consider this is a ground. And imagine I am having a coin. So, imagine I am having a coin. And imagine this is a ground. So, when I give this coin freely, what happens? It will reach, it will reach the ground, right? So, this is due to gravitational force. This Attractive force is nothing but a gravity.
gravitational force which attracted the point to the ground. So it is a gravitational force. So when any point or any object is left free, it is attracted towards the ground. This is due to yes, force of gravity. The force of gravity. It happens with the tap also, children. So when you turn on the tap, so imagine this is the tap. When you turn on the tap, the water also flows from higher level to lower level. When you turn on the tap, the water flows from higher level to lower level. So this is higher level.